Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to do a video on using the Raspberry Pi 3 and an Aver Media card and capturing your um, your content. You can also live stream as well. So uh, a lot of cool things you could do. What we have here is we have our Raspberry Pi with the Illum Wicked Aluminum case. We have our HDMI going into the HDMI in and then we have the HDMI out going to my monitor here. Um, with the sound, you could have it go directly through HDMI, no problem. I'm doing it through 3.5 and I'm throwing a separate audio because you'll see in a moment why. Um, so you'll need the Aver Media and then you have it going from the USB into your computer. Sorry for the mess of wires, I'm just getting this set up for, um, this is like my third time messing with this now. But uh, I have the Pi on here, this is a good step, right? And uh, what you want to do first thing is install the Aver Media driver, so go ahead and go to your computer and then go to the avermedia.com website, go ahead and click downloads, and then under gaming, capture and stream, you're gonna click over, we have this one, the Live Gamer C875, go to applications and drivers, download this first driver here and go ahead and install. Once you install, you're gonna get this program right here. And this program is the Avermedia software. Now, the thing I don't like about it is you, I can't seem to get it to accept a webcam. So it's perfect, for if you just want to make videos without a webcam. But if you want to live stream and you want people to be able to see you and interact with you, this is not going to do the trick. But they have a really easy wizard. I'm just, there's three setups. You could do like a PC setup. You could do the other PC setup. I'm doing game console where I'm going from a console to the box, but I'm also going to USB, but I'm also going to a monitor so I can see myself play as well. My video source is HDMI. It's not component. You can do component as well. They also have AV in. And then audio, you have two options here. Like I said, the easy thing to do is just go HDMI to HDMI, and then you don't have to run any auxiliary cables. But to do, to, you'll see in a second why I'm running it like this, which is um, audio in versus HDMI. You'll see in a second. My microphone is coming directly out of my webcam. I'm going to switch this though and move to my headset microphone because I think I'm going to pick up less sound with this one. And then we have our... Uh, our card giving out about that much sound and then as you, you can hear me in the mic right now moving this up and down and you can see that if I scroll on the Pi I'm scrolling on the Pi this should start moving a little bit I don't know why it's not but it's not but anyways it is getting sound um, so then now we go video settings this should be all good to start out with video bitrate everything is pretty good there's hotkeys if you want to do like talk there's snapshots whatever uh, snapshots do you want to save? Uh, no. So then you get this cool little thing. You can full screen it. And as you can see, I can see what I'm doing. I can go no sound or sound. And as you can see, the sound is playing through my computer speakers as well. And if we hit record, it's now recording. And you can see that our Aver Media device just turned red from blue. So that's a good sign as well. So, you know, for example, let's go ahead and launch a game. Launch a game. Echo the dolphin. And as you see, there's a small delay to my capture, but it's capturing it just fine. So here I am, I'm a dolphin. Oh. Are these my bros? Whoa. How high in the sky can you fly? That's a good question. That's pretty good. You see, it works well, right? 
works really good. The only thing is, it's a limited software. Like, where's the option to add in a webcam? If they added that option, this would be perfect. Now, something I did find out that, so you don't learn this the hard way, is when you are in the wizard, um, you want to make sure you do your audio here in the wizard, even if you're going to go switch over to another program like Open Broadcaster. So I don't want to do that. Profile change, are you sure? One? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. So now when it comes time to OBS, the reason why XSplit actually worked fine. I was able to use XSplit, but XSplit requires you to buy, it's not free. And if you use XSplit, um, you have to pay for it. So I have my, um, this is OBS, which is free. OBS Studios, you can Google it, it's free. So how does this work, you might ask. And uh, I can add a webcam. So you can add a webcam. Let's see if you can see me here. Hey, what's up, people? So you can add a webcam. So that part's cool. So I can have a webcam, and then I can have my game capture. Nope, that's not what I want. I want my video capture device. And I have my Aver Media. Okay, so you have this, right? And if I move down, I have my sound as well. But I cannot get it to record the sound directly into the computer. I cannot figure that out and and have it play out of the speakers at the same time. So I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So, well let's see, video capture's on. Let's go ahead and turn the mic on. Hello, hello, hello. So we got the mic, we got the video capture. And then we got the webcam as well. Okay, I'm gonna be very small here. Very small, because I didn't do my makeup yet today. Hey guys, peace. All right, so we got my webcam, we got this, and this would be perfect for streaming. So let's go ahead and start recording. And so let's get into a game here. Road Rash, right? So we go into Road Rash. We're loading it up. Let's see what kind of sound we get out of here. So I have the sound going out of my speakers because I have it going from the auxiliary out, this little green cable right here, going to my Logitech speakers over here. And so that's what you're playing them out of is the Logitech. I'm not using my computer for any of the the sound out. I just have the Aver Media connected via USB. So here we go. So like I said, you can game on the one monitor. This monitor, I could be doing other stuff. Like I could be browsing the internet if I wanted to be, whatever, as long as you have a fast computer. But I am recording over here. And the sound is working well. Thrash mode. Game loading, get ready to race. These graphics were not good. Look at those wheelies. Okay, so that's punch. Whoa, that's a drifting bike. I gotta at least knock one of these guys out. Got him. Okay, so you get it, right? So let's go ahead and do stop recording over here. And uh, so we just stopped the recording. So now let's see if we can, so here they go, they go into your video file. Start recording, and so let's get into the game here. Rope. And so that's what you're playing them out of. Is... So uh, like it's... Do you hear that? You hear that echo? Yeah, that what the hell, YouTube? What the hell? Right? Okay, so then, so then comes my really kind of ghetto solution here, which is let's turn off the video capture device. Let's turn off the video capture device. And because if you run HDMI here, you're not gonna hear this sound right here. See this clicking sound that the computer's making? I'm gonna raise up my speakers a little bit. Right, there's this. And so now my theory is I can run it. Uh, so let's try this, uh, I've never played this before. Knuckles Chaotix. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so 
right now, basically, I'm just using the microphone for my headset to capture all the sound. Um, right, so I'm just bumping my head. My I'm just hoping that my headset picks up the sound, which might be okay because the sound, you know, for these retro games doesn't even sound good anyways. But I mean, if I was doing this professionally, like with Counter Strike or something like that, you know, something with a better sounding game then this would never work, but let's see how this goes. Why does he have a ring in his hand? Uh-oh. What are you doing, bruh? Get back here. What's happening? Who's this? There's a robot. Robot Sonic? Press start to skip practice mode. Okay, so there you go. So that time I was just, I muted the capture card from grabbing the sound, which is ridiculous, right? That I shouldn't have to do this. And then uh, I stopped the recording, so now let's check out the this file here. All the knuck knuckle stuff. A microphone should be picking up the in-game sounds. And then my microphone's right in front of my mouth as well, so it should pick up that sound as well. And between all of that, it should be fine, right? It should be golden? You would think so. But it's like, it's kind of like paying $150 for this device you would think it would work. And I think this is just a problem in OBS. You know, don't get me wrong. Okay, so that's, um, so there you have it, YouTube. What's up with this? What do I have to add here in the bottom? What What's going on? Let me know. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.